Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Kid Goku from Dragon Ball. So we're going to start at the top of the face with the eyes. So start with the bottom edge of the eyebrows. So starting on the right, I'm going to curve from the front to the outside. Let's do the same curve on the left side here. Starting from the top, I'm going to curve inwards. From either side, we're going to draw an angled line coming up and in. From the top of these lines, we're going to curve right into that point so that the line gets tapered in. Go like that. And we're going to color those in black. On the right side. I'm just going to make this a little bit thicker on the right. Okay. Now from here, let's draw on the pupils. We're going to tuck these underneath those eyebrows. So on the left side here, I'm just going to tuck in an eyeball and just color it in black. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So circle and color that in black. Now let's draw the outer and bottom edge of the eyes. So it's almost like a half circle, starting just inside of the brow. Just tuck this in underneath. I'm going to curve around and just kind of come in and just kind of fade it out as we get closer to the front center. We'll go to the right side, start around here. I'm going to curve up and tuck that in underneath the eyebrow. Okay, let's draw the nose. So just in between the eyes, we're going to come down a little bit. We're not going to come down too far. We just want to draw a little button nose, so just a little curve up like that. Okay, so it's almost like an upside down U shape. Under here, we're going to draw the mouth. So we're just going to locate that right underneath this nose. And just draw a curve from left to right. Now from here, I'm going to locate the chin. So the chin isn't long, it's actually quite short. So I'm going to put my finger right here. We're going to start by drawing the sides of the head in towards the jaw. Okay, so just on the left side of this eyebrow, right about here, I'm going to draw an angled line coming down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So right about here, angle that down. So it's almost at the same height as the mouth. From here, I'm going to curve and round out the jaw and just sort of aim towards my finger. And I'm going to put a point right where my finger was. We're going to draw the chin. Okay, so we're going to come in and we're just going to round out the chin and just continue around to the right side and just tuck that in like that. Okay, so we got the face. Let's get into the hair and the ears. So starting with the ears, on this point, on either side of the head, I'm just going to draw an angled line going outwards. From here, we're going to tuck these ears underneath, and we're going to get quite low towards the jaw. So from here, I'm going to curve in towards the side of the head, and just tuck that in just on the side of the cheeks there. Let's draw some ear details. So right here, I'm just going to draw a little curve coming down on the outside. And then here, I'm just going to draw a little curve me out. And I'm not going to close it off. I'm just going to leave a little gap on the ends there. And just draw a curve there like that. Let's get into the hair. So from up here, I'm going to draw an angle line coming towards the eyebrows on either side. From here, we're going to come up the temples with a curve going up on both sides. Now we're going to draw in so the hair bangs coming down. So starting on the left, I'm going to curve up and inwards. So it's kind of coming up in an angle. Now for the first bang, I'm going to curve down right into that eyebrow. We're going to curve this back up to a part that's sort of on the right side of the head. So from here, I'm going to curve up. From here, let's curve in the second bang. So from here, I'm going to curve in towards that eye. And I'm going to curve and connect right to the side of that temple there. And then it looks like there's a little strand of hair that sticks down in the middle. So I'm just going to go up here in the, in the intersection here and just pull the line down. Okay, so we've got the central part of the face. Let's draw in some of those little shadow or the shading underneath the eyes. So we just want to lightly, with our pen, just draw three lines going across, just under that eye. On this side, we're going to do the same thing. So going in the opposite direction, just three little lines like that, just to show a little bit of shade on the uh, cheeks there. Now let's get into the hair. Now I'm going to start, a, start at the same height here. So just halfway up the ear, starting on the left side, I'm going to draw a curve going out. I'm going to take that point and curve in, and I'm going to draw the first major bang. So from here, I'm just going to curve out. From this point, I'm going to aim towards the top of that ear, but I'm not going to quite make it there, so I'm leaving a little gap there. Let's go to the right side and do the exact same thing. So right about here, I'm going to curve out, then I'm going to curve back in, and then again, like I did to this point, I'm going to go out farther, and then aim for that top part of the ear, leaving a gap. Let's go back to the left side here. So I'm going to draw a big bang coming out right about here on both sides. So 
a little bit longer. This. Now from this point, I'm going to aim just above the bang line. So right about here, just above this ear. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So I want to make sure I have the same height. And then I'm going to aim up to about here, it looks like. Actually, I'm going to make that a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to come up to there. Because there's a couple strands of hair that come up this way. So from this point, let's go back here and draw a curve going up to one point. Curving back a little bit. It looks like there's one more hair spike coming up here. And we're going to come all the way in. And there's a rounded part that looks like it's right about here. So I'm going to come in to that point there. And now from here, I'm going to curve and round up just the top part of the skull. It looks like it starts from the center of the face. and just curves in like this. From here, let's draw the one big one at the very top. And I'm going to go right up to the top of my page. From this point, I'm going to curve down and to the right. And from this point, I'm going to curve right into that side of that curve there. From here, I'm going to curve down towards the face. And then there's one big spike here. So I'm going to locate the tip right in between there and there. So I'm going to go up to this point, curve down to that line. And then from here, I'll curve out to connect that point there. And then there's a couple of hair strands sticking out. So from this corner, I'm just going to pull a line out there. And there's one on this side as well. So I'm just going to pull it up that way. We're going to go ahead and color that in black afterwards. Now we've got the head, let's get into the body. So I'm going to have them in the standing pose, one hand in a fist one hand holding a staff. So let's get into the neck. So just below this chin, on either side, we're going to draw two short lines for the neck. On either side. From here, I'm going to take this line, I'm going to go up a little bit, and just draw a diagonal line. So there's a little bit of an overlap going on by the neck there. Okay, on both sides. We're going to come down to a center point. This is the center of the shirt. So curving in, we'll do the V, the shirt. And we'll just show a little indication of the chest. So on this side, on the left, I'm just going to draw a little curve and curve on the right side. Now up here on the shoulder, we're going to step in a little bit and just do an overlap with a curve like this. This is just the collar of his top. From here, I'm going to draw an angled line coming down over the shoulders like this. Now we're going to curve in the sleeveless top. So from here, I'm going to curve in. Two short lines curving inwards. Now we're going to do an overlap for the top. So up here, we're going to come up and angle out. So there's like a curve that sort of curves outwards. From this point, I'm going to angle two short lines out on both sides, and then I'm going to curve these inwards. Now this is going to be where the belt sort of cinches up that shirt. So from these two points, I'm going to connect them with a curve. It goes up and then back down. Let's do a little bit of detail on the top. I'm going to put the crest on the right side here. So I'm just going to start by drawing a big circle. Starting at the top, Curving all the way around. Now I'm going to draw some wrinkles in the top. So we're just going to kind of bag the shirt this way. So starting here, I'm going to draw a curve like that. In the middle, I'm just going to curve up and underneath that crest. And up here, I'm just going to continue it on a little bit there. Under here, I'm just going to show that the, sh the top is actually kind of pulled in and creates a wrinkle. So just a few lines pulled up from that line. And I'm going to attempt that symbol right here. I'm not that great at drawing these, but down the middle, I'm going to draw a straight line down. Up here, I'm going to draw a little box or a rectangle. We're going to cross like that, and then a line through the middle. I'm going to draw, leave a gap, and I'm draw a larger box or a rectangle, and then a line across. And then down here, it looks like it extends beyond and it curves in. Up here, it looks like it goes across and then curves out. That's not too bad. Okay, now let's get into the bottom of the belt, right in the middle here. I'm going to draw two curving lines coming in towards each other, connecting those two lines with a straight line, and then down the middle I'll split it in half. This is for the belt, so now we're going to draw the belt. From the top up here, we're going to curve out. From the bottom, we're going to curve down, but we'll also get a little bit wider as we get to the base. Connect those two points with a slight curve. Let's do the same on the right. So starting at the top, curving down. The bottom, we'll curve down and taper out. Connect those lines with a curve. Now let's draw the actual belt. So from right here where this curve meets the top of this line, draw a short line coming down on both sides. Connect that to this side, we're going to tuck this in underneath the belt. So going across and going across. Okay, so we've got the belt. Let's get into the legs. The legs I'm going to take the 
pants down towards the ankles, right about here. The legs are going to be about the same, a little bit longer than the top upper body. From this side of the belt, I'm going to curve out the side of the legs. So I'm just going to curve like this. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Just so we're balancing it out, going left and right. From here, I'm going to do an overlap. Do another curve. Let's do that same thing on the right side. From here, I'm going to curve out these two short lines. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the pants. So from here, I'm going to curve towards the inside of the leg. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. So making sure they're the same length. From here, I'm just going to pull this line in and up. Now from here, I'm going to just pull the line across. So there's a slight overlap. And now from here, these two points, we're going to come up to the center. So the lower torso of the pants, I'm just going to put a point right in the middle there. From here, I'm going to curve right in to that point. We'll draw that seam down the middle. So starting off at the belt here, I'm going to draw a curve out down to the middle. Over here, we're going to draw the opposite, going the opposite way. So two lines curving this way. Let's draw some lines in the pants. Right up here in the thigh, I'm just going to draw a little curve going like that. Do the same thing on the right side. Up over here, just draw a lower curve like that. You can kind of put them anywhere you want. Up here, underneath the belt, I'm just going to draw a couple lines coming down. Again, pulling that, those pants in to create that wrinkle there. Let's draw in some shoes. So we'll draw some really simple shoes. So the ankle is quite narrow. So up here, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. Let's draw the bottom of the shoe. So I'm just going to draw a curve going from the toe to the heel. And from here, I'm going to curve and round out the toe. Come all the way in and just stop short of the bottom of that foot there. Take that line and just curve all the way back. So it's continuous, even space in between here. From up on the top of the toe here, I'm just going to curve up underneath those pants. Let's draw the same thing on the right side. Actually, you know what? I'm going to draw a little sole here. So if I have enough room, I just want to trace the bottom of that shoe just ever so slightly. Let's go to the right side and draw the same thing. So the heel, draw the curve for the bottom of the shoe. We're going to draw a curve all the way around and right about there. And pull this all the way back to the back of the shoe top here, we're going to curve this underneath the pant. Now let's draw that sole. So here, curving along the bottom of the foot. Now let's get into the arms. On the right side here, I'm going to have the arm coming down just into a fist. So underneath the sleeve, we're going to put the arm. We're going to stick the arm underneath there. So we're going to just come down a little bit. Just draw a curve towards the wrist. Over here on the right side, so we're going to draw that same curve going down towards the wrist. So underneath, I'm going to curve like that. Connecting these two points with a curve, but we're just going to overlap this curve for the wristband. So you see it's extended beyond the arm. From here, we're going to curve inwards, in towards the hand, and then round out that wristband there. Let's draw on the fist. So a really simple fist here. We're just going to draw a curve, rounding out the thumb. We're going to come in and then just switch directions. So we're just doing a little flick at the end. Up here on the tip of the thumb, we're going to curve out, we're going to curve back, and we're going to tuck this in underneath the wristband. And just right here, I'm just going to pull a little line just for the wrinkle of the fist. Let's go to the other side and draw the arm holding the staff. So starting again, just a little bit lower than the shoulder, we'll curve down towards the wristband. Up here, we'll draw the inner part of the arm, just like we did on this side. We're going to draw a wristband, so curving and overlapping the lines of the arm. Here, let's draw the wristband. So two curves coming in, connecting it with a curve. Now here, I'm going to start with a thumb and just draw a curve like this. From here, I'm just going to round out the inner part of the hand. So this is this part here, which is going to hold the staff. So I'm going to draw the staff here in this direction behind the body. So from this point in the hand, and pull towards me a straight line. Now it's always easiest to pull a line towards you and make it straight. From this end of the thumb, we're going to pull that same line towards me. Now from here, I'm going to connect those two points with an inner curve like this. And then on the outside, we'll just do the opposite, just to make it look like it's a rounded tip. Now here, I'm going to have to show the staff is going behind the body. So I'm just going to start up here and just pull a line like that. Up here underneath the wristband, just draw the upper part of the hand. The final part, let's get into the tail. So we're just going to do a curvy tail up on the back here. I'm going to start from the tip. From here, I'm going to curve 
in behind the arm. And imagine it going behind the arm and continuing right here. And we'll tuck that in behind the body. At the tip, we're just going to round this out. Just do a rounded end. And then following that same curve behind the arm, behind the body. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Kid Goku from Dragon Ball. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.